Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Tempany, if you don't know that already. Welcome. Today we are going to be doing my everyday makeup look, which is this one here. I've had requests um, for my everyday makeup for a while now, so I just thought that we would get onto it. I also did a poll on YouTube um, between this and a haul, and this won by like 80%, so I hope that you guys enjoy watching this and that it's helpful if you want to learn anything, any tips about what I do. Now, I know that this isn't an everyday makeup look for a lot of people. I go to work as a makeup artist, so obviously I'm going to be wearing a little bit more makeup than um, maybe other people might wear. So, and I do like it quite heavy myself. But it's just personal preference, and I hope that you can watch and enjoy the video anyway, even if you're not gonna do a look like this. Hopefully you can take a few little tricks and tips from it. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell to never miss any of my uploads. If you have any um, suggestions for future videos, please leave a comment down below and I will have a read through them and hopefully get through some at some stage. Anyway, thanks so much for watching and let's jump straight into the tutorial. So the first step, I'm going to start with my skin. Obviously I've already cleansed my skin, which I do um, every time before I do my makeup. But I'm going to go in first with a serum. I'm using the Napoleon Purtis Skin Renewal Serum. Just to um, make sure that the skin is fully hydrated before we start. No, I don't particularly have like dry or oily skin or anything like that. Mine's pretty much normal so I don't um, have any of those concerns. But I just like to make sure that it's nice and prepped before I start. Next up, I'm going to go in with a moisturiser as well. So I'm using the Revolution Hydration Boost Gel Cream. I like the consistency of this one. It's really nice and refreshing. While we are here with me, a fresh face, I'm just going to address as well. I get a lot of comments about my acne. I actually have a chronic illness called endometriosis, which does affect the balance of my hormones so they are very imbalanced um, and it's something that I can't really help at all. I've literally tried like everything on the market, medication, skincare, everything. There's only so much I can do and the rest is up to my body and it doesn't want to have a bar of it so it comes and it goes but at the moment it's um, pretty bad but that's okay, it doesn't matter. Acne or no acne, still beautiful, doesn't matter. So I'm going to go in with a primer. So I'm just going to be using the Models Prefer ultimate face base. I think it's pretty good. I just like, it's got SPF in it, so I like to wear it for every day, I guess, if I'm, if I'm out in the sun at all. Not that I am, um, because I work eight and a half hours a day, but full time, but that's fine. <laughs> when I'm doing just like my everyday sort of makeup, I start with my base first. I know in a lot, I know <laughs> in a lot of my other videos, I do the eyes first. I do that because if I'm doing like a heavy eye, I don't want any fallout so I'm gonna make the foundation like discolored and all that jazz and I don't have to like redo it. So I do eyes first if it's like a heavy look, um, but just for every day, I'm not really doing any eyeshadow. I don't really do it eyeshadow every day. So I'm just gonna start with my base first. Right now, to be completely honest with you, I don't really have like a regular foundation. I have that many that I pretty much go through and use um, a different one every day, like depending on <laughs> Like what color I am, like if I've got tan on, how far the tan is in its life cycle, like if it's fading, anything like that, or if I'm like really fair, um, or if I want full coverage or whatever, whatever. Basically I have a billion um, foundations, so I sort of try and switch it up every day. There's none that I like use every single day, um, but uh, one of my favorites is the NYX Total Control Drops. I sort of use both a combination of a brush and a sponge. Again, depending on which foundation I choose to use. So with this one, I use I use a brush and and a sponge. It's a bit dirty. Now I'm using this one in the shade Buff because I have a little bit of tan left over. I'm just gonna add some drops. Now that's a lot to be honest, but that's fine. So I'm just using. Um, foundation blocking brush and I'm working it into the skin. Obviously with the colour I'm matching to my neck and decolletage, decolletage, um, not my face. My face gets very um, red obviously from the acne. I have a bit of rosacea and the studio lights make me really hot as well. I get really red cheeks. 
from that so we're matching down and I pretty much just apply this like really roughly because I'd be like to go over with the sponge so it's not like super important it's just to get it get it down there and I'm just gonna go over with the sponge this is just one of those um velvet like flopped finish one so I'm going in with a little bit of concealer and I'm using the NYX Can't Stop Won't Stop in the shade Fair. I also use this to correct sometimes if the foundation's like too dark or anything like that because this one is quite light. So I go in underneath the eyes, on the forehead, all the like high points of the face. Now for the face parts, I'm just gonna um, dab it in with the brush. Underneath the eyes, I'm gonna use the sponge. Now I do use a few cream products. Um, so I'm gonna use the Huda Beauty Tantua in the shade Fair. And I apply this one just with a Real Techniques angled sculpting brush. And I literally just tap a little bit in there and I'm just popping it in the hollows of the cheeks. And around the forehead. I'm also going to use that to add a little, bit, a little bit of sculpting to the nose. So I'm going to use a Morphe M173 brush and just put a line on either side just to try and create a bit of a shadow. Put it right up into the eyebrow. I do sort of take a little bit across at the end of the nose. So I'm using the Cheek Switch Cream Blush Stick in the shade Go On Rose and this is Napoleon Purtis. I'm just going to pop this on a duo fiber brush and just get some straight off the stick and just dab that onto the cheeks just to add a little bit of colour. Right, so that is everything now for those cream products. So now I'm going to set the face. Now I like to use the Australis Fresh and Flawless I do use it in two shades when I'm tan. So I use the light beige to highlight and I use the shade medium tan for the contour areas. I'm just going to do that basically everywhere where I put the concealer to make sure it's nice and light in those areas. Alright, so that's pretty much all the areas that I put the light shade and then I go in with the medium tan shade. And I use a bigger fluffier brush for this and I just go over all those areas where we put like the contour. You can see that you can still see the blush and the contour from underneath the foundation. So that's just why I like to do the cream products as well. Now I'm going to go in and fill in my eyebrows. At the moment, it's a little bit random. I use a eyeshadow at the moment to fill in my eyebrows. I don't know why. I've just sort of come away from the gels and stuff at the moment. At first, it was because I liked it a little bit softer, but it's a really dark colour and I like them to be quite bold. But... Just using an eyeshadow, so this is from the Best of the Naughties palette by Napoleon Pettis, is the shade Depths. So it's just like a really dark brown. I'm going to apply this using a Morphe M165, it's just like an angled brush. I'm just going to brush up, just start by drawing one line underneath the whole brow. And I'll sort of go back and push that product up more of a natural blend without using too much product just make sure that that's nice and filled in i like to have the tail a little bit stronger than the front I'm trying to pull whatever's left down to the front all right so my eyebrows are filled in i'm just going to go set them with a gel this is number three give me brow that benefit and i'm just going to run a little bit of that through just to hold them where they are. Alright, so now I'm going to get started on the powder products for the cheeks. I'm going to start off with the nose contour. The brush I like to use is this one here. It's just like a flat eyeshadow stable sort of brush. I believe this is um, crown brushes. I go in with the Hula Benefit, Hula by Benefit bronzer. I just load up either side and I'm going to try and get that skinny nose. So I'm just going to create a line, basically just to narrow along my nose, pull it right up into the eyebrow. Because now that it's sort of like nice and slimmed down, I do like to accentuate my button nose. 
because it looks weird at the moment. <laughs> um, so I do take a little line going across. And I do it a little bit shorter than like the natural buttons probably like here. Just do it a little bit shorter. I'm just gonna go in with whatever's left on my little powder brush and lightly swipe over that. Now I do like to contour as well with that same Benefit bronzer. So I'm gonna use this little contour brush. Um, I believe this is from Woolworths. I think I paid like eight bucks or something, it's really cheap. Um, but I just like it because it's nice, nice and narrow. So I'm just gonna tap that on to the hollows of the cheeks and then swirl to blend it in. And I'm gonna take that around the forehead as well. All right, now this is all very cool toned at the moment. I'm just gonna add a little bit of warmth with a bronzer to the skin. So I'm gonna use the MAC Give Me Sun and just a huge bronzing brush. This one is just a model's preferred brush. Next up, I'm going to add some blush to the cheek and I do like quite a bit more dimension in my blush. So I really love these ones by MAC, the Extra, Dim Extra Dimension Blush. Um, this one is called Sweets for My Sweet. I just use a little contoured blush brush. This one is by Flower Beauty. And I'm just gonna tap some of that on the apples of the cheeks and blend backwards into the contour. I like to go back and forth um, just with my powder brush just to diffuse the edges and make sure everything's nice and blended. So now at this point, um, highlighter is next up, but I like to do um, a little bit of setting spray just to fuse all the products together and give a little bit of a base um, for the highlight to adhere to. So I'm just using the Morphe Continuous Setting Mist. To speed up the process, I like to use a little fan just to sort of get that process going a little bit quicker. Okay, so now it's pretty much dry down, but there's just a little bit of moisture left. So that's when I like to apply the highlighter. So I'm gonna use the Anastasia Beverly Hills, Nicole, I don't know how to say it, Guerrero? I'm using a Morphe M510 brush. Um, when I'm a bit more tan, I like to use the more golden shades. And when I'm a bit more fair, I use the pinkier shades. So I'm just going to, ooh, damn. Obviously I have um, texture on my skin, but I'm a human, so that would be why. Very normal. Highlight above, 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 above the, um, brow bone as well. Get that cupid's bow. I do a little bit on the chin, I don't know why I like it. And then for the nose, I use my fingers. Um, just to accentuate the button nose, I'm gonna do um, like a little exclamation point. So I like the tip of the nose to be beaming. So I just apply it and then I go over beaming. Yeah, I like it like that. I like it like that. Mm -mm 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 -mm. Going to apply a line down the bridge of the nose and again just quickly give it a blend. But I'm going to keep them separate from each other, those two lines. Spray again. I just find that when you're using powder products, things can get a little bit sort of chalky. So if you do the setting spray in between, it just sort of fuses and melts all of the products together to my eyes like i said i don't do any eyeshadow um but i do quite a heavy under eye shadow and a bold wing first i fill in both my tight line and my waterline with a really dark brown like liner like i usually use like a gel liner or like this really dark pencil so this one is the mac technicolor liner in the shade photogravure I don't know how to say that. Dark brown, basically. I'm going to really roughly fill out the waterline and pull it down into the lash line a little bit because I do smoke it out quite a lot. Just because it is sort of like a creamy product, I like to do one eye at a time just because so it doesn't like fully set before I smudge it out. So I'm just using a small little detailed eye brush. Again, this is a crown brush from 
years ago and I'm just gonna sort of smudge and blend that out and at the bottom I'm just gonna go ahead and tight line the top I just like to do that because then it's um, nice and all like sort of blacked out for when the lashes are on it's nice and you know and just to increase the depth and the smokiness underneath the eye because at the moment I don't know I just really like the the eye bags like emo not emo but dark look um so i'm just going to add a little bit more dark brown eyeshadow underneath the eyes just to sort of make that even darker so i'm just going in with the same dark brown shadow that i use in my eyebrows just on that same brush and i'm just packing a little bit a little bit more underneath the eye and i do sort of pull it out like a wing but not really then I just like to go in with my nose contour brush and I just grab this slightly lighter brown here called Walnut just to blend the very end of that dark brown. I'm going to do the wing and I just do a liquid eyeliner on the top. So I'm using the Rimmel Glam Eyes <laughs> um, liquid eyeliner. I like this one because it's the brush tip. I'm not a fan of like felt tips. I prefer brush tips easier to use easier than more bendy. Bendy? Is that the, the word? A lot of people have asked me to do an eyeliner tutorial and I'm more than happy to if people want to. That's another thing that this fan comes in handy for is express drying eyeliner. Now I'm going to add some mascara. I am using the Benefit Roller Lash. It's like the wand on this one to be honest. So I'm just going to coat the top and the bottom. I'm going to apply some lashes. These, I just buy like heaps of these um, bulk, either like 10 or like 8 packs off of eBay. So this is G211 if anyone can find the same seller. Now I do have a how I apply eyelashes video on my page which I will link at the end. So that's the eyes done, that's how I do them. So you can see it looks a little bit more balanced out once the um, lashes are on. Um, I like to add faux freckles which I do most days as well. The product I like to use for faux freckles is this Unbeliever Brow Quid thing. I don't know what you would call this. So I'm just going to decant a little bit. So just like a detailed liner brush like this. This one is just actually an art brush. Monty, Mont, Mart, Marty, I don't know how you say that. 16 over zero. I don't know what that means. <laughs> anyway, so I'm just gonna pick up a little bit on the tip of that brush. Then what I do is get my finger and just pat over the top. And sometimes as well, I just do add a couple randomly on the forehead as well. Now that's pretty much done. So now we are on to the final step, which is the lips. Dark lips. I like dark everything. Dark brown, chocolate brown is what I'm into at the moment. So at the moment, I'm actually using these Napoleon Purtis Lux Lid Eye Sticks. And I use two colors to give like a nice ombre lip as well. Let me do the darkest color just around the edges. I like to overline my lips just because my top lip um, is like a flip, flat lip. So when I smile, it like tucks underneath. So I like to bring it up a little bit more so you can see it. Ah! That was my phone. TikTok is playing. Ah. And then I sort of feel the edges. And then for the center of the lip, I like to use the lighter color just to sort of give that ombre look in the lip. Oh my, no. I just cracked, cracked the screen. over and set everything one last time and again with the pen all right guys and this is the final look so this is my everyday makeup um again i know it's like not everyone's cup of tea but i did have quite a few requests just for my everyday makeup um so i hope that you like it i hope this was helpful in some way or 
it asks some questions about what products I use um, and what I look like every day when I go to work. Um, but yeah, thank you so much for watching and remember to subscribe to my channel if you don't already and turn on the notification bell to never miss any of my uploads. Thank you so much for watching guys. Bye.